What's up guys, it's Raddy here. I just finished the workout, so I'm prepping my meal now. And I wanna share with you something very important when I get asked about diet, nutrition, my thoughts, my recommendations. Here it is, um, experiment for yourself. You're an individual. What works for someone else will, may or may not work for you. We're talking keto, paleo, primal, whatever diet, Atkins, South Beach, whatever. Um, so I'm gonna show you what I'm experimenting with, why and how it's making me feel so that you can then experiment for yourself and basically have the telltale signs of is something good for me, is something bad for me. So what I've been experimenting with a lot, I'm trying to put on some weight, so more calories, is bacon, all right? I'm having like a pack and a half to two packs a day, plus maybe some sweet potatoes and then any cheap food I wanna throw in. I'm gonna have a Burger's Priest Burger in like an hour, I'm gonna go get it. Um, Basically, it's just a grass-fed burger, so this meat is all, it's organic, it's pasture-raised, it's good stuff. Try and avoid, obviously, low-quality foods. I think any and all of us would agree that low-quality foods are not gonna be the best for you. So when I talk about experimenting, for me, and I'm not promoting carnivore or pushing it in any way, but lately, the past month, I've just been eating excessive amounts of meat compared to what I would usually do. In previous, I was doing a lot of salads, um, then I went to a traditional Chinese medicine um, appointment, I'm having some stomach problems, bad bowel movements, bloating, just not good stuff. And I noticed, well, they said like, you know, no cold foods and no raw foods. So a lot of these raw vegans preaching, you know, raw vegan for everyone, doesn't work for everyone, doesn't work for me. Because literally I would go to the bathroom and I'll see pieces of pepper and lettuce in there completely undigested. It means my body's not able to break it down. And I know once upon a time it was fine for me to eat that. I used to love salads and shit um, and it would be all good. But at this point in my life, at this point in my body is telling me, you know, I'm not even, I don't even have to listen. I just have to look a little bit that I can't digest this food. Don't put it in me and I feel bad. Now, having this bacon, just focusing on a lot more meat has made my bowel movements so much better. My indigestion, my bloating has all gone away. I'm leaner. Like I have so much more energy I eat, I sit and eat three, 4,000 calories a meal and I have energy after. So that's one of the telltale signs. Um, I, I had Domino's pizza, like an extra large giant one. It was on sale uh, maybe like a week and something ago. And literally after I finished that thing, just the giant, it's like almost 4,000 calories. I slept for three hours in the middle of the day. That's a sign that that food does not really mix well for me. Um, if you're feeling lethargic, tired, if you have saliva, mucus buildup in your throat, if you get watery eyes, if allergy symptoms increase, if you have poor sleep, uh, if your stomach hurts, if your bowel movements are irregular or poor quality, that means something that you're eating is not working for you. And the easiest thing to do is just eliminate and get down to the basics. So for me, I went one way, I tried the lettuce and the vegetarian side, that didn't work. So I'm trying the other way, the more meat side, and for now it's working. I don't know if I'm gonna continue doing it, but for now, it seems to be helping healing my gut. Everything's going much more swell, if I were to say so. Um, that being said, it also helps me notice what foods aren't good for me. So I know when I have that Burger's Priest, like I get a little bit of saliva buildup. I know if I have tomatoes or tomato sauce, that just makes everything go to shit. So I can't generally have tomatoes. Um, yeah, that's just me. So you gotta basically take the time, sit with yourself when you're eating a food have the mentality of, okay, let's check in while I'm eating it. Do I feel good? And two, like 15 minutes after, do I feel good? Do I have any of the symptoms I listed? You know, headaches, blurry eye vision, a stuffy nose, mucus. When you go to the bathroom after, can you sleep properly? Sleep, uh, food timing. So what I'm generally seeing is that it's a lot better to eat more during the breakfast and lunch. So for now, I'm basically skipping breakfast. I'm eating around 11 to two o'clock. So anywhere in between there, depending on my clients, depending on when I work out. Uh, right now I'm eating after my workouts and I have great energy during the workouts even though I'm usually about 20 hours fasted. So I'm doing a lot of fasting too. So I'm 20 hours fasted, energy's insane in the gym. I feel great after I eat giant meals, which you know, as most people say, like if you have a giant meal, you're gonna feel bad. Um, you probably will. That being said, for me, my experimentation right now, how I'm living life, this is great. So I encourage you to just try and experiment. If whatever you're doing right now, let's say, raw vegan, or if you're doing carnivore, or if you're doing paleo, whatever it is, keto. If it's not working, doesn't matter how much science there is, there's science on every single one of these, you know, experts in their field saying this is the one, okay? Everyone's different, there is no one. That's why there's thousands of 
diet and exercise books because we haven't figured this shit out yet. Everyone is different. There is no broad brush. If there is a broad brush, it's just to have unprocessed foods, eat as naturally as possible, eat as clean as possible. I would say throw some fasting in. That's, that seems to be really good for me and a lot of people. So hope you guys enjoyed my take on this and leave me some comments down below what you think is affecting you, how you can change, what you're experimenting with. And then I'd love to have some more advice. I, I realize this might not be the healthiest. It might be. I, my body does feel good with it. So we shall see. Um, on a side note, hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.